there are social drinkers and there are alcoholics. Now, social drinkers can pick up a beer and put it down and they don't need one every day. Alcoholics pick up a whiskey and can't put it down and they need it three times a day. Did the one beer that the social drinker drink hurt them? Unlikely. And the reason it's unlikely is because there is a what is known as a first pass effect. You drink the alcohol in the beer. First of all, it's very low uh, percentage, right? It's only about 3.6% in, um, in, uh, in a beer, all right? And what happens is that the first pass effect, the uh, stomach and intestine metabolize that alcohol before any of it ever gets to the liver. And so the amount that actually hits the liver that could do damage is exceedingly small, all right? But if you keep doing that, then that is a problem. So it's a dose-dependent phenomenon. Same with sugar. No difference. Your intestine can take a small amount of sugar that you consume, actually turn it into fat in the intestine, intestinal de novo lipogenesis, so that it will not go straight to your liver. But if you consume past your, now the rest of it's gonna end up in your liver. And the problem with sugar in the liver is exactly the same as the problem of alcohol in the liver. It causes glycation, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, drives insulin resistance. This phenomenon is at the base of virtually all chronic metabolic diseases. Or your pancreas has to make extra insulin to make the liver do its job because now the liver's not working right because it's been poisoned. And so insulin levels rise all over the body. And now you've got you know, the risk for Alzheimer's, the risk for heart disease, the risk for virtu uh, for cancer, the risk for virtually every other chronic metabolic disease, all because of what happened to your liver. Fructose, that sweet molecule in sugar, basically has the same fate as alcohol. So when people say, oh, well, you know, a little sugar is fine. The answer is, um, yeah, because your intestine diverts that little bit away from the liver. As soon as you overwhelm that capacity, now your liver is right in the crosshairs. And that's when chronic disease is gonna start.